Do you want to know how to use Macromedia Flash? Of course you do. That's why you clicked on this video. You looked at this video. It said Flash Tutorial and you wanted to click on it. That's why you clicked on it, right? That is correct. Today I'm going to teach you the basics of Flash animation. Keep in mind this is for Macromedia Flash 8. So if you have Macromedia MX, Macromedia Professional, I don't know. There's some other different versions. It might vary a little bit. But basically it's the same for every program. I'm going to teach you things from layers, to brush tools, to free transformation tools, just the basic stuff to make a basic flash animation. You're in store for a ride. Well, this is the basic area of work for a flash Macromedia Flash Professional 8 thing. Yes, that it is. Well, I'm going to start by teaching you how to use the brush tool. You can draw with it. You can make it sharper, which makes... See, that's, you know... I don't like sharpness very much. So, I usually keep mine around the 13, 12, 10 zone. That's usually what I animate at. Some people like it up in the 50s. You know, make a sharper look to it. You know, look there, there, there. Yeah, okay. But you can set that. You can tinker around with it, see how it goes down. Stuff like that. Also, there is the typing tool. You can type, you know, da -da. Woo! yep. That's pretty standard, straight up forward. You can make it bigger, you know. All right, we're gonna delete all that. The lasso tool, you can circle around things that you want to select. So I just selected that. And the free transform tool. After you select something, you can click on the free transform tool. You click on that, and you can make things bigger, smaller. You can reverse it, you know, the other way around. You, you, you. New, new. Yeah, it's pretty standard. You can just move it by clicking on the blackness or whatever color it is. And also, let's teach you how to make an animation. So you got a line. Draw the line on the left side. You press F7, and your line disappears. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Oh God, you're screwed now. No, no, click on onion skin right there. And you can see where it is. That was your last frame. Now you're gonna continue to draw this. F7, 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 F7. That was pretty quick, but you know, you get the point. There, see, now it looks like you're moving, right? Right. Now F6, what this does, okay, we're going to start drawing a line up here. F6 keeps it there. So let's say we want to continue this line. F6, 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 and so forth. Okay. See, it looks like the line's growing, right? Right. All right, now you can erase that. No, you can click on your frame to go from frame to frame. See what you drew and stuff, you know. We're gonna go to a new file. And now we're gonna talk about layers. Layers, everything needs to be a layer. So let's say we have a circle. This is circle one, so you Click on this and label it circle. I spelled that wrong. Circle one. And let's say you want this circle to go here. Now you can keep on drawing this, or there's a simpler way. It's called a motion tween. Here's how, you, how it works. You say create motion tween. And then you select the frame you want it to start. So let's say you want it to get over here, 
very quickly. So, you want it to be there by five frames. That's not even a second. Because 12 frames is a second. So, you press F6. And you move the circle over to that area. Pew! 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 Now, let's say you want it to move over there a lot quicker. Or, yeah, slower, slower, slower. My bad. So, you draw your circle again. Boom. Create motion tween. And then, we'll slow it down a little bit. Bringing it to 40 frames. And, just click and drag it over there. And it goes much, much slower. Pretty standard, right? Anyway. Now, let's bring up my first animation ever. Well, at least my first flash animation. And this is it. That's a cloud moving back and forth all around the smiley face right there. And that's a guy getting bigger. How I did this is like so. Well, uh, it was basically a blue circle, right? Drew it. And I created motion tween. And I don't know what frame it was in exactly, but it was around 30-ish. And I just made it bigger. See? You can do that. Or, let's say, insert a layer. Maybe we want... You press F6 at the end of... Uh, at where you want layer 2 to come in. So let's say we want it to come in while the circle is growing. So I press F6. And I want a dot to come in. There. And then F6 again. I want that dot to grow. F6 again, grow, 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 and there you go. Pretty simple, right? Now I don't know how much time I've been on here, so I'm going to stop this. I don't know if it's the end, but I might come back. I ran out of time for the other video. There's going to be part two. It should... You just click on my account. It should be on the right side, I believe. And you can click on part two. It should be there. Pretty simple to find. Good luck. You'll enjoy it.